Did you know that cryptobotany is the study of plants that are thought to be mythical or extinct? It's fascinating how some researchers dedicate their lives to uncovering the truth behind these elusive species. For instance, the legendary Tree of Life is often referenced in various cultures, yet its existence remains unproven. Some cryptobotanists even believe that the elusive Wolamia nobilis, once thought extinct, was rediscovered in Australia in 1994. This ancient tree species dates back to the time of the dinosaurs. Then there's the corpse flower, known for its foul odor that resembles rotting flesh. It's not just a quirky plant, it's a rare phenomenon that blooms only once every few years, attracting crowds eager to witness its unique scent. And let's not forget about the Rafflesia arnoldi, which produces the largest single flower in the world, measuring up to three feet in diameter. It's a parasitic plant that doesn't even have leaves or stems. Some cryptobotanists are on the hunt for the legendary yeti plant, said to grow in the Himalayas. While it sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, the search continues for this mythical flora. In the world of cryptobotany, there's also the ghost orchid, a plant so rare that it's often considered a symbol of beauty and mystery. It blooms only under specific conditions, making it a true treasure for plant enthusiasts. The concept of plant blindness plays a role here too. Many people overlook the incredible diversity of plant life around them, missing out on the wonders that cryptobotany has to offer. Finally, the intersection of cryptobotany and conservation is crucial. As we explore these mythical plants, we also learn about the importance of preserving our existing ecosystems. Each discovery, whether real or imagined, reminds us of the beauty and complexity of our natural world.